Hello, uh, this is Dr. Ogozina, and welcome back. Um, I want to go through one a little exercise uh, with yourself. We are going to open a previous tutorial we did, proper driving. What I want to do here, um, a different approach. We have model our concrete power, so this is how we are going to do if you want to model concrete power. Uh, do your model as it is, add the properties for it, um, linear elastic, no pores, add the material. We don't have a single power, we do exactly, you can do exactly the same just uh, for a group power, we can add the same power, but maybe for a group, depending on the type of group power you're doing. Now, um, during the introduction into power foundation, you mentioned that you can also model powers um, if it's a steel structure, which we can model it with it. So, I'm going to make an attempt modeling this. Uh, we're going to use exactly the same calculation phase we've done here, but we are going to change a bit on the structure. So let's go back under the structure. So I'm going to delete all this. And uh, instead of modeling um, concrete, we are going to model a steel bar this time. Uh, so this is going to be something on the top of my head. Um, I will take material of the steel for me. Um, tutorial. So let's see, let's click on that plate, uh, line, create a plate. That was a 15, so we just go 15. Ah, you see, identify a model here, so we can't draw it here, so let's delete that. Because it's identified that. So, I will we add that sort polygon there. Back on. Let's put a plate. So let's see. 15. Okay. So if you are modeling um, uh, concrete, we are going to model this um, plate. So let's say we add four of them with the space that's 15. Let's say a space of Two, so I'll go at seventeen. Add another one here. Okay, I'll go at uh, nineteen. I'll add another one here. It's one. So let's say, for example, I'm putting three power here but you can see it's not actually even so what I'm going to do is move that first one I'm going to put one here oh no I should be at twelve not let's see Let's leave something like this. It's just a practice exercise, it's not exactly. So let's put back our clay there. We're going to delete that. Yes, because we're not going to use that. We are going to use a plate. So I'm going to add property. Um, imagine property. So we use, let's say, our ears too. Uh, six maybe it is just an assumption, so this is just a practice exercise um, to model different types. So I'm going to put that as two, and let's say put the point there. So again, this is an assume, let's just assume this. So this is a practice exercise I want to go through yourself. So Okay, now let's say that this is my pile and um, I will put a load at the top of that pile. So let's put a load. Uh, okay. Okay, this, uh, I've just changed this model, so let's do the mesh. So, generate it because. 
zero, let's zero. I'm going to use the same calculation as we did previously on the concrete pile. Um, you know, so I'm going to now the load is going to be in three stages. So I'm going to click on each one. So let's say we are doing dynamic once again. So previous one was five thousand and our frequency was fifty. So we do the same. And um, we'll activate the load. Let's uh, put the same on that one and assign 5,050. Okay, one thing we forgot to do if you are following me, are following my tutorial, we didn't put an interface. So let's add our interface. Just add the interface just like we just did uh like we did on everything it was supposed to be all around um, interface. So we just add another element here, we'll have to redo the mesh. Yes, we do have a mesh. I'm not going to view the mesh because it's going to be exactly the same thing. Let's go back to our start. Make sure that the load is activated. We could also activate the plates um the interface. Yeah, so you see see I've clicked them all here, and you go and click each and individual one and start selecting them. So here I just in I mean phase one I've uh activated the plate interface and the line load. Everything will be like that, but if you remember, it's going to be dynamic. Click on that, it tells you if it's a dynamic, so it has plastic, dynamic, dynamic. So let's see how the calculation for this one um, looks like. Let's select some points for the curve. No. So I'll take some on file. Yeah. Remember, this is a practice exercise. The um, value I've taken for my pile, which is steel pile, I've just assumed them. Remember, you have, uh, in my calculator, some of your stiffness uh, values for your pile. That's why you're going to use. But in this case, I'm just showing you uh, a practice example. In case you um, want to make an example, so this I'm um, using a different type of file. Could have done exactly the same, but doing different file, but for uh, concrete, but I'm using steel, so that will be an example. So that's how you can draw your pile. You know your spacing of each pile what we are having, and that's going to be so. This is uh, a practice example, and I've taken the matter of the pile of the plate. From one tutorial over in the Texas Mayor, which that plate um, uh, materials is not for foundation, it's for a different kind of um, model, but this is just a practice. Uh, let's see uh, how to show you how to uh, use a steel pile group for cycle to model. If it's concrete, it will be exactly the same. So let's re level this as a safe project. I will call it as pile, I will call it um, pile. There we go. So let's see what this gives us. So I'll just play around with it and assume materials. So let's go at the third stage and let's see, see what has happened. Now, um, let's say I want to get maybe the bending moment of one of these, so double click on zoom zoom. So that's it, will give us up the same would go for each one. So let's just stay on this one. This is about the displacement again. Here gives you different different shapes of what it's going to give you for the displacement for that pile. 
and apply steel so for that plate. It's going under forces and see if I get the bending moment for that. This is our bending moment. Just to get the bending moment for this uh, for our first pile. Uh, so we're going to see if we want to see for the second one is going to be exactly the same. Let me close that. Let's look at our second pile. Okay, so forces in the moment, yeah, it looks the same. So, basically, this is um, an example of just how if you want to do a pile foundation on your pile steel, that's how you plug. And if you just do a single pile, it's still this, then, um, this is what you're going to use in practice to do your pile using the plate. If it's a concrete, we do as our first exercise, uh, for uh, other tutorial we do use concrete. So. So this marks the end of it. Um, yeah, here we go. This um, a brief, quick example. We use same material. Bear in mind, you might have some where your part could be deep down. You have different kind of clay. Absolutely fine. But how to model your part? We've shown two different examples how to model part: concrete part and steel one. So this gives you an example. Two different examples how you can model it. We could have done this a uh, previous example that like the part you have in. You can do exactly the same. And this example we're using steel. So instead of using a concrete part, we just change it to plate. So there you go, and that's how um model. Let's see which second one uh, first. So different ways in which you can uh, plot different scenarios.